Hi there, this is Courtney Long, Angel Communicator and Life Purpose Intuitive. Welcome to this week's Angel Insights for the week of March 20th through the 26th and happy spring! Woohoo! We are finally at spring! <laughs> We're working with the Indigo Angel Oracle Cards this week by Charles Virtue and Doreen Virtue. And as I'm shuffling the cards, calling on God, Source, Spirit, Universe, our angels, asking for guidance for the week. Okay, I got it. Okay, here we go. Got the two cards. Actually, you know what? There's a card at the bottom. I'm being drawn to grab two. Okay, first card is Send Love. Send Love. Very powerful. Second card is Trust. <laughs> and third card is Make a Wish. Make a wish. I'm laughing because these cards are so similar. I mean, every every month there's kind of, you know, a general theme, but this month more than ever, the last several weeks have been so much about trust. If you notice or if you watch the, the other um, week's videos, last week's card from Archangel Michael deck was believe and trust. And so here we have the same exact message. And then this card of sending love is very, very similar to what the angels have been saying the last couple of weeks about being gentle with yourself and in even the Mary Magdalene card about unconditional love a couple of weeks ago is very much about emanating love. And and just as I was tuning in before before drawing these cards, the angels were showing me again about how many vibrational shifts that we're going through right now and they're just saying, just let go of fear. Drop fear we're really shifting into a lighter way of being it's almost like life as we knew it is is different now and taking more time to meditate and to connect with the love within you is so 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 important remembering that you are a being of light you are pure light and the more that you feel that and know that and connect with that deep within yourself it, it's it's really helpful to, to align yourself with your soul and it's reminding me of the book by Eckhart Tolle the power of now and how he talks about feeling your inner body and being in the present moment not being stuck in your head and your thoughts and, and this is this really even is the path of living intuitively of really feeling through life feeling your way through life living from your heart from your intuitive heart and allowing your intuition to guide you, your, your beingness to guide you rather than your, th your thoughts or the, the things that you think you should do. The angels are just showing, toss out any shoulds and, and create your own rules for life right now. It's your, your life, your game that you're playing in a, in a kind of a fun, playful way. Um, not in any kind of like manipulative way or something, but it's like it's a fun game and you are the, the player that's moving through the board game and you get to decide how much fun you're having and they're just saying, they're showing, they just keep saying decide, decide, decide. So it, it might be helpful to make a list for yourself of everything that you're deciding for yourself and declaring for yourself. You could say, I am declaring a life of love. I am declaring that I've got plenty of money flowing through my bank accounts. I am declaring that I um, travel and I have fun traveling. It's like whatever you really feel that you want to be a component of your life, declare it and decide that that is part of your life now. Which reminds me of one of the angels messages from January when they were saying, imagine that this is the last year of your life. What would you do? They're not saying it's the last year of your life, but they're just kind of saying the angels are suggesting that we live as though this is it. You know, this is our opportunity to live life now, to be alive and be vibrant and say yes, you know, dive into the game of life and have fun, splash in the water, let go, let go of preconceived notions about who you are or what you should do and just really let your intuitive heart guide you, feel your way through, which is the importance of of being in that space of love and sending love to our entire world too, especially global events going on. Really send love to everyone and set that intention that, that love wins out, that even, even with our political climate the way that it is right now, and there's so much divisiveness and so much fear, but when you choose love instead, when you 
embody love and be in those higher vibrations of love and truth, that's what it takes to create positive changes in our world. So you don't have to feel like, oh, oh no, this negativity is taking over in our world. Well, if that's the case, then it's our job to be the change that we wish to see in the world. And all we can do is what we can do. But each of us has a responsibility to do all that we can do. So that is why it's so important to be loving in the world, to be a beacon of love, to bring forth your creative projects, to express your soul, to, to do what you truly feel guided to do to create positive changes in the world. We are here at such a pivotal time in our planet right now. You're alive for a reason and on a soul level you chose this life right now. You chose to be here right now to contribute, to make, make a contribution to this world and to the shift that the planet is going through and that very much involves love. I would love to hear, speaking of love, I would love to hear from you below the video in the comments how you're sending love and how you're being love, emanating love, how you're living your purpose and really getting in alignment with love and how you're you know, maybe unplugging from fear but really, really just being in a place of love. I'd love to hear how you're doing that or how that's feeling, how that's going for you and then tr trust that everything's unfolding perfectly and look at how cool this is this angel is holding looks like a moon in his hand and the angels are saying you are holding this universe in your hand the universe is is you know it's it's this again kind of like a playground you are creating what you want to create and so allow it to be to be in alignment with what you want and trust that everything's unfolding perfectly. The fairies are really coming in right now and saying they're supporting you, so have fun, kind of like let go, trust, but also ask for your, your help from your angels and the fairies as well. The fairies are really good with manifesting, with manifestation, and they're really, really good with keeping the faith high and the joy high. And it's interesting because also Archangel Jophiel is coming in strongly and Archangel Jophiel is the angel of joy, beauty, and positivity. And she helps us to feel beautiful. She helps us have an open heart and to stay positive, to stay in those vibrations of love rather than negativity. It's so easy, especially for those of us who are sensitive, it's so easy to get pulled down into the negativity if we're not consciously choosing to align with love. And they're showing do things that help you align with love, like listening to music, being around positive people, being outside in nature. These are not just luxuries, they are necessities if you're a sensitive person to do those things that help you keep your spirits high. Really, really important. So I'd also love to hear that if you're up for sharing below the video. How do you keep your spirits up? How do you keep your vibration high? And Archangel Jophiel can help you do that. You can just simply call on her. Just say, Archangel Jophiel, I'm not feeling so hot right now. Can you please help me feel more positive? Help lift me up to where I really, really belong. So cool. I'm laughing too that I was guided to wear this outfit of kind of like pinks and oranges because Archangel Jophiel's color is pink. <laughs> so neat. Okay, and then the third card, make a wish. Make a wish. They're saying, again, focus on what you want. Nothing is too good to be true. Nothing is too good to be true. That's another great book by John, um, John Randolph Price. Nothing is too good to be true. Holy moly, that book blows me away. But, but they're really saying you can have what you want. So go for it. Keep moving. They're showing you swimming. Like Keep swimming. Keep your faith high. All is well. And your angels love you so, so, so much. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, that completes the message. <laughs> if you didn't get a chance this month already to take the quiz, Are You Intuitive? Have a look at that. And if you can join us this Sunday in the Angel Meditation Club, our topic is money with Masselcore, the money angel, the, the soul of money. And we're going to look at how you can really live your purpose and manifest money for your mission. As you make the world a better place, how do you let money be of support to you? We'll do a beautiful webinar class available worldwide, plus a deep angelic healing guided meditation to clear out subconscious blocks and fears and, and past life blocks around money and really open your heart to the income that your soul is guiding you to experience and abundance in other forms as well. Hope you can join us for that. I'm sending you so much love for your week and I will talk to you soon.